Hey guys, it's Sarah from Sleepopolis, and today we'll be taking a look at the Casper pillow. Now some of you might already be familiar with the cozy foam inside Casper's mattresses, but there's something different going on inside this pillow. And it is an all position pillow designed to meet the needs of every style of sleeper. So of course I'm going to test its full performance so that you can get a better idea of what this pillow is all about. Let's get started. So the Casper pillow has a dual layer design, wherein an inner pillow gets zipped up in an outer pillow. Now the outermost cover fabric is made from 100% cotton and features a very soft and breathable percale weave. Now I can tell it's breathable because when I push into the pillow, I can sort of feel the air flowing through the fabric. Now, the outer pillow is filled with polyester-based, low-friction, silky fibers, which is actually the same material that fills the inner pillow, only the outer pillow, the fibers are longer, sort of intended to create more of a fluffy, down-like feel. Now, a zipper spans two sides of the pillow, allowing you very easy access into the middle insert here. Now, this is lined with polyester, which does kind of make a bit of a crinkly noise when you press into it, but it's very soft and naturally moisture wicking. Now, as I said, this middle insert, the inner pillow, is filled with the same material as the outer pillow. However, the fibers are shorter and there are nearly a billion of them in here. So basically, the inner pillow is gonna provide that support for your head and neck. It's gonna help you maintain spine alignment. And it's kind of your support system here. And then the outer pillow serves to sort of amp up that comfort factor by sort of bringing you this plush, sort of really feathery, just extra fluff. The two of them really work together to sort of create that nice balance between plush and supportive. So you can see here it's got a two inch gusset that spans the perimeter of the pillow. And according to the folks at Casper, the gusset is sort of the backbone of this pillow. Basically what that means is it's serving to fortify the shape of this pillow, making sure that the loft is even, the fill is evenly distributed, and you're not getting you know, that clumpy feel. So between the two of these pillows, they're sort of working together to combine this plushness, this support, so that it's going to adapt to the style of every type of sleeper. Okay, so we've seen all the materials that went into crafting this pillow, but the only way to really know what it's all about is to thoroughly roll around with it. So let's check it out. Well, that's very comfortable. I'm generally a back and side sleeper, but I've been exploring the waters of stomach sleeping lately, so I was pleased to know this is an all position pillow. As far as how it feels lying on my back, I'm really, as soon as I lie my head down, getting this sort of instant puff up of material, this sort of fluff that's coming up to the left and right of my temple, really allowing me to sort of rest to one side or the other. I'm also feeling as soon as I lay down sort of this flow of air through the fabric, which is reminding me that this is a very breathable pillow. I'm getting the sense that it's not gonna trap my body heat, which I love. And while it does offer a pretty decent sink into the material, it's not really conforming to my head and neck in that sort of memory foam way. It does have a very down-like quality to it. So very fluffable, sort of gently cradling my head and neck rather than really sinking into it and conforming to it. I'm finding it very comfortable in this position. I don't really want to get out, but let's see how it is in the lateral position. OK, 
Okay, so still loving it. This sort of very fluffy, uh, silky fibers inside. It's really serving to sort of prop myself up so that my head and my neck and my spine are all in neutral alignment. However, I will say that, you know, naturally I, I sort of slip an arm uh, beneath the underside of the pillow for comfort purposes, but without this sort of extra prop, I'm not feeling quite as supported. So yes, I can definitely find a comfortable position sleeping on my side, but without that sort of extra loft that I'm giving myself with my arm underneath, not really feeling that sort of pressure relief in my shoulder. So ultimately, I'm still really, I'm, I'm feeling how cool and breathable the cover fabric is, which I love. I'm feeling my head sort of sink softly into the material inside, but as far as lofty support goes, I tend when I'm on my side to prefer something a little firmer, a little more lofty, just so that I can make sure my shoulder's getting that good pressure relief and everything is sort of in neutral alignment. So let's see how this feels in the prone position. Hmm. Okay, so like I said, not really a stomach sleeper, but I think the Casper pillow might be able to convert me. That's just as comfortable as it was in the supine position. So far, I'm definitely feeling like this is an all position pillow. Now, at first, from the looks of it, you can see it's pretty lofty, so I wasn't sure whether or not this was going to elevate my head and neck. Uh, while I'm sleeping on my stomach and I'm really feeling like it's soft enough that I'm able to sort of compress the shape so that my head's not elevated. I even was able to sort of embrace the underside of the pillow with both arms and it didn't increase the loft so much as to crane my neck in an uncomfortable way. However, I will say if you are a stomach sleeper who really only likes a little bit of cushion between you and the mattress, you could remove the middle insert from this pillow and just sleep on that. It's still very soft, very comfortable, and it might do a better job of sort of keeping everything in alignment. So, so far, feeling very comfortable. As far as stomach sleeping goes, I would leave it just the way it is. Let's see how it is as an under the arm hugger. Yeah. This is definitely my kind of pillow when it comes to this style. It's fluffy, it's got nice loft to it, it's got a nice lofty build, it's just very squeezable, it's really giving me that sort of comfort of sort of having that support of a pillow under my arm. Let's see how it is as a in-between the legs support. Decent. I'm not liking it as much for this style as as I did for sort of the under the arm. As I said, this does, you know, under the weight of my leg uh, or under the weight of my head, it does compress a bit, you know. It is sort of shapeable, sort of malleable in that way. So I'm not really getting the sort of prop that I like for this style of sleeping. I'm not really feeling like there's much pressure relief going on in my lower back. So ultimately, when it comes to these two styles, feeling more comforted by the under the arm hugger. But overall, I would definitely classify this pillow as an all position pillow. I was able to find comfort in every position, every sleep style. Like I said, lateral sleeping and stomach sleeping. You might wanna kind of play around with the loft a little bit to find your perfect comfort zone. But I do think this pillow has something to offer for every kind of sleeper. So there's a lot to love about the Casper pillow. Firstly, and in my opinion, the biggest draw is this dual layered design. You've got the inner pillow that's providing you that good support for your head and neck, helping you to maintain proper spine alignment. And then you've got the outer pillow that's giving you that cushy fluff factor that in my opinion, really takes the comfort to the next level. Between the two components, this pillow really offers a cozy balance between plush and supportive. 
Something else I really like about this pillow is that it's pretty cool and very breathable. The percale weave of the cotton combined with the silky fibers inside really worked together to help me from warming up while I was sleeping with it. And as someone who sleeps hot, it's a pretty big perk. And lastly, because it takes more than a day to get to know your pillow, Casper offers a very generous trial period of 100 nights. So you can test it out, see how you like it, and if it's not the right one for you, just send it on back for a full refund. So there are a few things about this pillow that some sleepers might consider to be drawbacks. So while there is this nice pillow in a pillow design going on here, no part of this pillow is adjustable. So really the only way that you can manipulate the fill in the loft is by fluffing it. So if you're someone who really likes to personalize your pillow by being able to reach in and remove or adjust the internal fill, that's something to keep in mind. Speaking of fluffing it, in my experience rolling around with this pillow, I did notice that after a while, it flattened and lost its shape a little bit. Now, after some sort of enlivening fluffs, it really seemed to restore its loft and shape, but frequent fluffing was required. And finally, while I was able to find comfort in every sleeping position, I could definitely see how this might be too lofty for some stomach sleepers. So if you're a stomach sleeper who really only likes a flatter, small amount of cushion between you and the mattress, I recommend testing this pillow before you commit. For all the fun details on the Casper pillow, be sure to check out my full written review which you can find by Googling Sleepopolis Casper Pillow. I hope you found this video review to be helpful. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up, as we'll continue to help you in your hunt for the perfect bedroom accessories. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and we'd be happy to help. Well, that's all for this pillow review. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.